You just want to do your opening thoughts on the loss? Yeah, um, you know, you just, you never generated uh, any kind of consistency you know, for what you need. I think especially offensively. Uh, I thought our effort was really, really good. Uh, you're looking at a number of guys that really just how many guys haven't played a whole lot of college football, but just the execution down in, down out uh, clearly has to be better. What kind of, on the sideline, what kind of mistakes did you see kind of offensively you're talking about from the offensive line, just e execution-wise? Yeah, it, it wasn't. I mean, that it's... It's at every place. It's not only, you know, a back or a receiver or up front. It's coaching. It's all of us. We bear that responsibility. And, um, and, and the willingness to say, uh, we just, we, we got to get so much better at the details. And for the number of guys that we have in there, uh, we got to get them to grow. We got to accelerate, you know, j just their development as football players. In the in the past, when you've experienced lulls like this for multiple games on offense, what what has spurred it forward? Generally, in your experience, what does tend to change and get things on track? You need to play. You know, I can't say enough about the value of practice and uh, and just paying a little more you know a little more attention to details. I think the other part, just where there are spaces to make additional yards. Uh, we got to do it. Uh, we got to run routes more exact to help that way too. And uh, there are a lot of factors that go into it. And any thoughts on the play of the defense? I, I just thought across the board, our guys. I mean, they did give really, really good effort. Everybody did across the board. Uh, we, we just, like I said, I, I wish I could give you more different words, but just that we have to play better. We got to execute better. We got to coach better too. Coach, it uh, seemed like, uh, I know it didn't end the way you wanted it to, but end, towards the end of the first half, two-minute offense, kind of you guys were moving the ball well again. We saw that last week. Is, is there a thought to using tempo maybe as to kind of get spur you guys going? Uh, perhaps. You know, I, I think, again, you know, just because just cause you line up faster, ultimately execution's going to trump all, uh, whether you use tempo or not. And, uh, and that's the part just where we have to focus, you know. And I know we got a tough one seven days and that, you know, seven days from now going down to Baylor. We really, really got to work on Air Force. Coach, two straight weeks now your rush defense has allowed less than 100 yards on the ground. Can you just kind of speak to what your rush defense has looked like and how you hope that can have maybe transition to the pass defense here going down to Waco? It definitely can help. You know, that means that you're pretty sound in terms of gap integrity. Uh, the other part of it, just guys knowing exactly if it's a, you know, if it's a back end run fit from a linebacker or a safety for those guys to be involved too. And, uh, and yet let's be forthright also that as we go forward, we're going to play against teams that maybe are more focused on the rushing part of it where the first couple of weeks, maybe that hasn't been the case too. What was kind of the mindset out there as the game progressed? I mean, we just got to play better start to finish. I mean, we had the couple drives early where they scored and just we got kind of behind the eight ball. So that's just something that we got to get better on as a defense and just hold them when, uh, when they're driving and try and force kicks. Yeah, and kind of going off that, we just have to, you know, start off faster. And then as the game goes on, just keep on going and keep on going and, you know, just never get our uh, foot off the gas. And uh, knowing the stretch you're entering, I guess, how do you guys, how focused are you now on the mental side of things? Not panicking, not trying to do more than you need to do, knowing you're going to Baylor, going to Wyoming over the next few weeks? I mean, we knew at the start of the season we were going to play a really tough schedule. So like any given week, it's going to be a fight. So we knew coming into this week it was going to be a fight. And uh, we know going down to Waco next week is going to be a fight. So just something we all knew going into the year. Yeah, we just got to keep our heads up high, you know, and just go into the next week and really just attack the week and really just lock in for the next games ahead. And then another week with you guys allowing less than 100 yards of rushing on the defensive side of the ball. Has that just been something that you guys have been really locked in on practice or is that just something that just kind of comes natural for your guys' unit? Uh, that's really the mindset. I mean, the, our, our goal is to always stop the run. And, you know, in practice, like, our mindset is, like, like we're coming after the ball. And if we can stop the run, then we'll always be fine on defense. After the first quarter, your pass defense was 
pretty good. What did you guys think about your effort on pass defense wise and just any adjustments you made after that second touchdown? I mean, just super proud of the dudes in our back end. I mean, we play great football, uh, but just, I mean, it's and it's us too, because we're obviously in coverage too. Like we both did some things that we wish we could have back in order to help those guys back there. And uh, throughout the game, we just got better as a unit. Yeah. I know it's not the result you guys wanted, but there's the, is there a confidence with this defense? This is two really good performances on the defensive end. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, we know, like, what Grant was saying, like, when we started the season, like, it's going to be a tough schedule. And, you know, we just can't let a little bump in the road really affect us. We got to just keep going and then come in next week and just be ready to go. Mentally, where do you guys stand? I think we just got to do a better job overall. We're just a block short or an assignment short of making a big play. We just got to trust the process and keep it rolling and trust in ourselves and just get this thing going. When you say a block or an assignment, are you guys able to pinpoint them that closely to where you have a belief that you are close to turning the corner? Of course, yeah. Like, we watch film, there's always one block or one assignment, and just together as a group, we just got to execute better and make sure we know what we're doing. And then, Levi, obviously the past defense in the first quarter maybe wasn't as spectacular as the final three. What did you guys see there in the last three quarters to really help lock things down and keep this game a lot closer? Yes, sir. It was just, it was just adjusting to what they wanted to do. Uh, we figured out where they wanted to go with everything, uh, and we adjusted our defense to that, and we adjusted pretty well, I think. And then, Cade, now with your third straight or with your third touchdown now in two games with Dylan Carson being out, you've become more of a focal point there on offense. How does that change your mindset going through practices every week, knowing that now you're going to be coming the number one guy? You know, honestly, my job doesn't really change week to week. My mindset's kind of been the same, and that's do my job, know my role, and execute to the best of my ability. So whether that's getting the ball a little more or blocking, same thing. My mindset doesn't really change there. With a young offense, especially in the offensive line, is there kind of like got to instill the confidence there during the middle of the game when you guys are struggling? Is, is Maybe a little bit, but, you know, it's just we just got to execute better is what I think it comes down to.